In this example, we are given a rational function f of x, which is x minus 3 over x plus 2, and we're asked to identify some key properties such as the intercepts, y-intercept, the domain, and x-intercepts. So in part A, we first are asked to identify any y-intercepts. And so just recall that for a y-intercept, we set x equals 0. This is true in general, and evaluate the function. So it's no different with a rational function than it was for any other function. So in this case, we have f of 0 is equal to 0 minus 3 over 0 plus 2. So this gives us minus 3 over 2. So we have one y-intercept at the point 0 minus 3 halves. So that answers part A. In part B, we want to identify the domain. And so in general, for domains, we want to uh, eliminate any x values where the function is undefined. So in this case, we've got a fraction, and so when is the fraction going to be undefined? That's going to be when the denominator, x plus 2, is equal to 0. So since we can't divide by 0, we want to make sure that x plus 2 is not equal to 0. And so this equals 0 when x is equal to minus 2. So the domain is going to be x is not equal to minus 2. That's the only value we need to get rid of. And in interval notation, we could write this as minus infinity to minus 2 union minus 2 to positive infinity. So it's all values except for minus 2. And lastly, in part C, we want to identify the x-intercepts. And so in general, to find x-intercepts, we set f of x equal to 0 and solve for x. So in this case, we have x minus 3 over x plus 2 is equal to 0 when the numerator, x minus 3, equals 0, which occurs just at x equals 3. And so when x equals 3, the numerator is 0, and we just want to check to make sure that this is indeed in the domain. So that checks out, and that means we have one x-intercept at 3, 0.